Which of these two favorite cymbal lines actually records better? The classic Zildjian A's or the darker, thinner Zildjian K's? Now that's a bit of a loaded question because we all know that recording situations vary from one another and different styles of music demand different sounds, not to mention individual tastes vary between drummers. But looking at these two cymbal lines objectively, what are the actual differences? And which cymbals are really the better cymbals that you should invest in? Let's find out. Hey everybody, welcome to the Non-Glamorous Drummer. This is the channel that's all about teaching you the practical drumming skills that'll really help you to become a better drummer. If you're new to the channel, I hope you'll subscribe. So today we're not so much comparing two lines of cymbals, but we're comparing two specific types of cymbals. So we're really comparing two different sounds to see which works better for recording. The A's that I'm using are traditional Zildjian A's. They're not the A Custom, they're the Vetus A's, like you know the New Beat, Hi-Hat, Sweet Ride, all that, traditional A's. And then the K's are the K Custom Darks. So technically, like I said, it's not a direct comparison between different lines, it's just a comparison between different cymbal sets that sound extraordinarily different. I bought my A's a long time ago, back in 2010, and then I bought the K's just a couple of years ago. The A's were great, and I think I gradually, as my taste developed, I wanted to experiment and do something different, so I got the K's. So as far as the A's go, we're gonna be listening to a 16 inch A medium crash on the left, 18 inch on the right, the 21 inch sweet ride, and the 14 inch new beat hi-hats. As for the K's, we've got a 16 inch on the left, 18 inch on the right, 20 inch ride. Instead of the 21 inch that we have with the A's, we just have a 20 inch here with the K's and then 14 inch hats. Overall, the A's are the brighter symbols, the K's are the darker. There's a lot of really big differences. We'll talk about them some more in a minute. Let's listen to the footage. We'll let the footage speak for itself. We'll listen to just the A's and then we'll listen to the K's and then we'll mash them up and we'll quickly go back and forth between video of the A's and the K's so you can very directly hear the differences.
So as far as objective stuff, well, we know that the A's are louder and they're brighter and they cut more. The K's are darker, thinner symbols that are a little quieter, they're more pliable. And really that means a couple of things. The K's, you don't have to hit as hard to get a full reaction out of them. Because it's a thinner, lighter symbol, you can hit it fairly lightly, but still get a full crash. Whereas with the A's, you have to lay into a crash a little more to really get that symbol moving and get it vibrating because it's a bigger, heavier symbol. But now for the subjective, my opinion, I found that the K Custom Darks were the most pleasing to the naked ear. A lot of symbols, when you hit them, when you're not wearing ear protection and you're just hitting symbols, a lot of times they will hurt your ears. I mean, symbols are loud. Any kind of symbol is gonna be loud and you need to wear ear protection. But when I was just sampling these, hitting them lightly, I found that the K Custom Darks were the only symbols I could hit that didn't sound gross just in my ear. They sounded so well balanced and the frequencies were just rich and complex that they're really just very nice sounding symbols to my ear. And so I bought them and I found that to be true in recording and in every instance where I've used these. I think a big part of this too is that these symbols are very well suited to the way that I play. I don't like hitting symbols really hard. I feel like with the A's I have to lay into them too much because they're heavier and it takes more energy from the sticks to really get them moving and to produce a full sound. Another kind of interesting side point here is that with the A's, you sometimes have to EQ the overheads and the room mics to eliminate certain frequencies. There are certain hums that can happen um, if you're doing a swell on the A crashes or the A ride. There's sometimes a certain frequency, there'll be just a little bit too much of it, but I found that there's a more even, rich, complex frequency balance with the K's so that there's nothing that sticks out. And so really, I don't have to do any weird EQ moves in the mix down to get rid of anything I don't like with the K's. Whereas with the A's, I find the new beat hi-hats can get a little bit nasally when you're playing them open, and the ride has just a little bit too much of that piercing hum to it. I like how natural the K's sound and how I can leave them in that natural state and they still sound great and sit well within a mix. So which symbols record better? I think the K Custom Darks record better because they balance really well with the kit and they always sound great. Now that's not to say there's not a place for the A's. If I need a pingier ride and I'm just playing on the, on the surface of the ride or I need a louder bell sound, the Sweet Ride's great for that. If I need, if I'm doing a lot of closed hi-hat stuff that needs to cut through the mix, the new beats are great for that. If I'm doing a lot of hi-hat chicking with my left foot, the new beats are great for that too because it cuts well. The K's are a little more mellow. The K ride also gets very washy easily. And so if I need that pingy sound, that's why I might jump to the sweet ride instead. I hope you enjoyed today's video and I hope my comparison here didn't offend too many people because I know how drummers get with their gear. But you know, it ultimately comes down to the fact that these are all great symbols and your symbol selection should really depend on your personal style and taste. I do love my K Custom Darks, however, and they are well worth the investment. I use them pretty much on every gig and they never fail me when recording. So thanks everybody so much for watching and thank you so subscribers for being fellow non-glamorous drummers and members of this community. And if you're new to the channel and you're finding this video interesting or other videos here on the channel helpful, I really hope you'll subscribe. Thanks everybody so much for watching. I hope you have a great weekend. I will see you next week.